so here's a slightly belated Foodie Friday video. Um, I meant to do it last night. I was going to. I was planning to. Right as I was setting up my camera, one of my friends started messaging me, messaging me on Facebook, and it went on for hours, and I ended up crashing out, falling asleep while talking to her, and basically, long story short, I never got this film yesterday, so I'm doing it this morning instead, which is probably still closer than I usually get with these days, actually landing on Friday, than it's been for months. When was the last time I actually had one land on Friday? Yeah, that. So anyway. Um, today we are reviewing one of the limited edition Oreo flavors for fall, and this is the cookie butter one, which, incidentally, I have never actually had cookie butter either. I know they sell it at Trader Joe's. I know, we have a Trader Joe's like five minutes away, and yet, I've never bought it. One of these days, I will. Like, they literally have a limit on that stuff of how many you can buy, because it's so popular, I've heard. Uh, because one of my sister's used to buy it all the damn time, so I've heard from her it's very good, but it describes on here graham flavored cookie with cookie butter flavored cream. Now, when I looked up what exactly is in cookie butter, basically little chunks of cookie and gingerbread, and it just generally sounds delicious, and given gingerbread, that sounds more like, you know, winter than fall, but okay, I'm not gonna complain. I love gingerbread, so Whatever. So yeah, I got the smallest size tray just because it was both the most, uh, the, the most, the cheapest one as well as in case it's kind of a dud, I don't want to be stuck with a huge tray of it. Although this one, I kind of cheated and tasted a few already. <laughs> so this isn't even like first impressions review of it or anything because I couldn't help myself. I had to try some. But um, yeah that. Uh, I didn't want it to be a repeat of the firework Oreos. I mean, yeah, those took me over a month to eat, which, given how I normally am with Oreos, that is just sad. Normally it's like, oh, three days, they're gone for, like, the biggest size tray they make. <laughs> I have no self-control and this is why I'm fat. But anyway, so, we're gonna try them, even though I definitely kind of already have. But we're gonna do it on camera this time. <laughs> so, here is what they look like. This one's kind of lopsided, but I mean, it'll work all the same. Um, and it does look and smell like graham cracker. Like, exactly like a graham cracker. Although, I have a hard time telling if that's from the cookie butter or if it's from the cookie. Now, we all know I have problems with biting with my front teeth, so I always separate them and go, uh, uh, but, um, so first we do the cookie side. <laughs> I feel like on these, they definitely did capture the graham cracker, the flavor, and kind of texture even for the cookie part. So, bravo to them on that, because I know some of the other ones that claim that for some of the other limited edition flavors, they claim it, and then people are like, this is nothing like a graham cracker. So, this one actually did it. Maybe they took some notes from the other ones that didn't, and they pulled it off better with this, so. It's very yummy. It's specifically like a cinnamon graham cracker, which are my favorite kind of them anyway, so. Okay, so we're gonna try some of the filling next. And this is the part that's supposed to be like cookie butter. And this is interesting to me texturally. There are absolutely crunchy bits of something that I assume are supposed to be cookie pieces in there. To me, they feel and taste like graham cracker as well, but the actual cream itself does taste like gingerbread. And it's a very interesting combo, and I'm like, dude, if real cookie butter's like that, that is the shit. I need some of that. As if I need another thing to make me fat and ruin my teeth, right? Right. <laughs> but it's really good. It's probably one of the best limited edition Oreo flavors I've tried in quite a while. Not quite as big of perfection as the pumpkin spice ones were last year, but close second, I think. They're very yummy. 
and I really wish I'd bought a bigger tray. Of course, I haven't seen them since then at the store. Moreover, I saw the Dunkin' Donuts ones once, but my dad was in a hurry, and I couldn't quite grab them fast enough. I have not seen them since, and I'm so pissed. I'm so mad I didn't get them, because that was the only time I've seen them in a store. And that may, for all I know, be the only time they would have been there. I'm like, damn it. So I'm like, I don't even know where else to look. I've looked everywhere. That was the only time I successfully saw them, and I wish I'd grabbed them, but I didn't, so... It is what it is. But these I'm glad I grabbed. I know, I eat them differently than most people do. I don't really care. Because I don't just discard the cookies. I eat them. I just eat them separate. I like it that way. I view it as the whole thing with Reese's. Like, they used to have that whole campaign of there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. I fully believe the same thing of Oreos, as long as you do still eat all the pieces. Now, if you're one of those assholes who just twists them apart, eats the filling, and tosses the cookies, go to hell. <laughs> but, um, as long as you eat all the pieces, I see no problem in splitting them apart and doing it bit by bit. To be fair, I'm generally one of those people who's so OCD, like, even with dinner, like, I will not let the different foods on the plate touch. So I guess it kind of makes sense that I do it this way. It's really good. Plus, for how I do it, it does slow me down a little more, too, so I don't go through them quite as fast as if I just went home and just had it gone in, like, two seconds, so. I'm getting the air out of the thing. Okay. I think my rating for these would definitely be a 5 out of 5. They are really, really good. My only caveat would be, if you don't like graham crackers or gingerbread, either one of those two things, you might not dig this, but if you like both those two things, definitely try these. I think they're delicious. I think you'll like them. And, you know, probably get a bigger size tray than this because you'll go through them in about a hot minute if you get the little tray, but, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway. Five out of five. They're really good. Highly recommend. Anyway, so as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Have you found these in a store and tried them yet? Let me know what you think of them down below, because I feel like I can't possibly be the only one who thinks they taste amazing. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you want to help support it, uh, the donation link is down in the description bar. It's almost a new month, so... I don't want to see an empty donation list. I mean, even if you only donate a dollar, just anything. Get your name on the board. So anyway, till next time. Bye.